This is one of the coolest knots you probably haven't heard of. It holds in place if there's tension on the line, but if you give it a tug, the whole thing comes loose. This knot is useful for lowering down tools and gear when your rope's too short to double back on itself, so I mostly use this when camping in the backcountry. At a small ridge, I'll lower my pack down first. Then I pull my rope back up so I can lower something else. Now I could climb down without the pack on, which is much safer. Now tying it could actually be done in just a few seconds, but that's going to require a bit of practice. So grab your rope and follow along because here's how to tie it. Take your rope and feed it through the anchor point. With your standing end, perform an overhand turn. You could imagine turning the keys to a car here. An overhand turn is the motion to turn the car on. Now we're going to take our working end and pinch a bite in that rope, which is basically just a U-shaped fold. Push that through our loop, and now we slowly start to tighten. Now this part requires a lot of practice. You'll have to learn to tighten it slowly and evenly, or else it's just going to collapse just like this. Instead, with smooth pressure, it'll bite down on itself and hold tension. And then when you release that tension, the line will come completely free. Now you can tie this with thick or thin or pretty much any type of rope, but it does work better with some than others. Thin supple ropes like nylon paracord don't really work as well, though it is possible if you have enough patience and practice with it. And then you'll also have a bit of trouble if you're using slippery ropes like Kevlar or Dyneema. Your best bet is larger diameter cordage that's stiffer because that provides a little bit more friction. It's also important never use this on a person or anything valuable because this knot is not to be trusted. This knot's technical name is the Bellringer's Knot and we've used it here as a remote release hitch.